you guys. I have butterflies. I've been dying to see you guys. I know. Don't smile. Stop it. Okay. Get everybody on this fucking thing now. I'm Judy. I bought. Okay, I won't say it, but I, you know. Don't. I, okay. Okay. Re look at her. <laughs> look, she's got a glass of vino. I know. It's it's sitting here waiting. I was like. <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? I need to Am drink. I allowed to drink on this or no? Can, I, can I, oh, can I, can I What even? I love you all so much. I it. Oh my Hi, God. Hi everybody. Hey. Hey. I, love I it. just want to say hi and I, I mean, I hope everybody's great. We've all been in quarantine. Uh, Rebecca Metz and her, her husband live a peaceful life with their fucking cat and they get to do whatever the fuck they want and in no danger of exposure. Yeah. Um, Where? Gloves from when we had to give our cat weird medicine in her ear and my friend works at a hospital so I went and brought. That's so cool. Gloves. Oh, that's great. Oh. So it's been... It's, you know, the the eighth episode of this season was on last night and you guys were all magnificent in it. And I was so excited to um, have a chat with you guys because I've been in a uh, vacuum and I don't watch my shows with anybody and my kids are all on a different path. And so um, uh, it's just, I just, I'm so excited that you guys got to see it. I was, it's, it was so beautiful and I've never appeared on screen more in my entire life and it was the most, I just, I, 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 I was speechless and blown away. Cause I'm, it's always like, I'm always cutting room and I'm always like, hey, I'm tall and uh, here's a funny quip. I hate myself, bye. <laughs> and then <laughs> you're gonna have a new career as like a cabaret performer. Like you're gonna have a- so, I, 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 I have to contract. tell you ladies that I thought I that was last like, night's episode was a bona fide healing. And as someone who is going, I, I will share honestly through a separation, last night was some heavy duty shit for me. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I, I loved the forgiveness. I loved attempting to forgive. And sometimes you just have to accept, just have to get into radical acceptance because forgiveness is oh, just yeah. too fucking hard sometimes. And I, 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 God, I loved it. I thought it was tight like a virgin mosquito every skin <laughs> I, 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 I was so proud of it Jupiter. you should be because you had balls like i can't even believe because as audacious as you've been about everything you're going through and going ahead and being so revealing on the show and i i i, I had the opportunity to catch up with the entire season it's so um it, it's just a full circle with these relationships with um such a, 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 a literally just like a guest appearance that you get to make and such a part of Pamela's existence that we get to come and you coming in and having such a such a journey with like an attempt to get over it but at a, a, such a hard time you know and so funny with it I can't so honest see it. It, I've seen you on better things I'm catching up of course people had the opportunity to catch up with yeah. the show now it's like oh my god you're on better things too and all of that stuff and there's like i love that show she's amazing what is she like um oh god i get that all yeah yeah everyone thinks oh, no. like, she's a fucking rock like, star I, i've known and then you, you can't forever. stop like going on and on about what pamela adlon is like in that episode then, you know, like, I, I, yeah so I'm much just... about people being together like mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so, it's so it's exactly difficult. what everybody is starving for right now. It just feels yeah. like being with your people. Like I, your it brought, watching it brought me right back to the feeling of making it. And I needed that so badly. You know what was interesting? I mean, besides the fact that it was flawless, but you know, when you get together for a night and the way the night progresses organically, yes. where yes. it just, you're like, oh, let's go in the other room. And then you end up doing shit you never planned on doing. Mm -hmm. That was, mm -hmm. it was like a seamless, I, I just, it was like you went to someone's house. It was like, well, what happened? Well, we played piano. We did, <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> yeah. When it's I crazy. read the, this is when what I really read, happens. Go ahead. Sorry, baby. No, when I read the Jolene part, like when I mm -hmm. read it, I was like, 
They're never going to, this is never going to end up in like, this And then no, also you, when we did, the, when we did the letter candy. burning and you let us you, like- Alicia it, and Judy Reyes wrote your own mm -hmm, letter. I remember that. We didn't have letters for you guys. So you fucking wrote those letters and those were like, they were, they, they're so profound and weird. And like that one thing where you say, I didn't understand them. You didn't understand the matrix. The matrix. And then, so by the way, David cried when he watched it because I, I wrote that for him because like oh. he had a thing after we watched the matrix where I was like, if you didn't <laughs> understand that movie, I can't be married to you. Like I can't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my, my God. person, and, and he got it. Yeah, and and Judy Reyes, um, <sighs> in your letter, you you wrote about somebody who's not who's not emotionally uh, going to be at your like. It was mm -hmm. just like so out of left field, and it's so weird. And because uh, I needed to know if somebody played the piano, and I thought Cree might, and. None of you bitches. And then Judy Gold was like, I do. No. And I was like, no. I was like, so what? What do you play? I play like Mozart and shit. What do you want? <laughs> you, you weren't sure she was serious? And I was like, get the fuck out of here. And she was like, I was a music major in college. <laughs> Still think she's fucking yanking my chain. <laughs> and so she, you know, brought that that one piece. And that's and exactly I, how she texts, right? I was a music major. I know. <laughs> like the, the glass is shattering. But when she came and she brought the piece, I knew that that was going to be a little something for Annie. I, I just wanted to sit her down and have her play that piece. And Annie just fucking cut it. That was it. the most incredible Annie thing. Shit Annie out of this episode. Annie brilliant. cut the shit out of it. And you know, I texted her, or not texted her, but I DM'd her and I just said, you cut the shit out of this episode. And she said, well, I have a generous and kind director. That's why. Mm. So she was loving you behind Who's your that? back. Really, Annie, the editor of no, this No, I meant the director. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Pan Adelaide, which we um, never get right. Can I just say a lot of my friends are saying to me the deep gratitude of the portrayal of sisterhood yes. on this show. Yeah. Because I hate the propaganda I see on television of the way that women treat each other. Right, right. All I know is when I was hanging on by a mosquito cunt hair and my man had just left, I opened my door and there was Jupiter right there with a pizza and a hug. Yeah, That's Pam. And uh, just the most understanding. Two pizzas. Two fucking baroni pizzas. I will say that that's how women have survived forever is with by the love and support of their sisters. That's how we've always gotten by. And it's so nice to finally see it. Portray right. honestly. Because you we see know how to be friends. You we see guys how. at bars, you know, when you want when they're bonding or they're doing it, oh, let's play, let's, let's, you know, like let's play catch or football. I have never seen anything like this on television. Ever. But that we was, all know this is how it really happens. Like right. it, it's we this is always how it's been, and we've never seen it. And it doesn't even occur to you until you see it and go, Oh, this is actually people I know. Like this is right. how my friends actually behave, and I've just never gotten to see it. I've never seen any women who seem like the women I actually know in my life on TV. Yeah, she does, <laughs> and Sam, and and I mean, Sam is aware that she does it, it, that uh, protectiveness of her girls. You know, also comes from her own deep bitterness. She has to get over it for her sake and for her kids' sake. She knows that shit. You know, yeah. but I, I agree with Judy, maybe it's a Judy Judy love, that fuck you because he's still, you know, fucking a girl that's like half his age. So right. yeah, fuck you. And, and it was, no, so, and, so he still wants it a little easy because marriage is oh, yeah. more than that shit. It's you know? Sam, it's messy. There was, there was that, that split second where Sam was like, am I gonna go there? Nah, not worth it. Yeah, she did go there because she said, "Yeah, well, at least I don't have to ice my one ball." <laughs> ice ball. Right, but she didn't. Re I mean, it wasn't like in his because face. You know what I mean? Yeah. When Judy, like 
all the improvs when Judy Gold is in there. She goes, I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating. Remember all the cheese you kept eating? Oh Remember my God. You say <laughs> down the, 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 <laughs> so started going down south. I was like, I fucking ate so much. And then I, I was like, oh, wait, every time they cut to me, I'm fucking shoving something down my throat. It's like, <laughs> just like Brad Pitt. You and Brad Pitt always have <laughs> on camera. Yeah, and you know what? We, we, or we have very similar bodies as well. Yeah. <laughs> He's an ectomorph, right? You guys, can we talk about what? the patron saint of divorce kids? <gasps> oh, yeah. That's so sweet. There. That was amazing. Even, even know, that was like Ben that was born from it. a that well, was born from a real moment. That, that mean, was a real thing. That was he, dinner. He calls me the patron saint of divorced women, and <laughs> so you know we gave it to Duke, and then I mean I love that scene so much, and it was a contender literally to be on the cutting room floor because we had so much content and um last minute i was just like i need to get quete in here who plays oh, ray oh, quete now, is so good right? Right? Oh, that was awesome he's like you want to retire before you're 85 i'm here to talk about money <laughs> oh and because that shit's real like oh. and i said that you got to say that he goes am i allowed to say that i'm like Yes, we're not doing a fucking Nickelodeon show for the 17th time. <laughs> 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 yes. No, I love it. Great. It's so yeah. beautiful. It's and, and, again just the yeah. community taking care of each other. And and what uh what a hard ass journey divorce is and everything helps. I mean, yeah. I had Thanksgiving dinner. 10 seconds after my separation with Jupiter and her family, and her daughters spoke to my daughters about being children of divorce. And this is the way we care for each other when real friends gather. And that is a truth that people need to see and be reminded of, especially right now. It's true. And the 108 year old woman who oh, divorced. I, my I can't, I can't don't talk I, about I, Pearl. Don't genius. talk about Pearl. Oh my I'll God. For me. No, she's, oh, she gone? She's frozen for me. I lost her. She's frozen for me. Hi, Judy. Hi. I can't, I, I love you guys so much. I can't even believe it. I love you guys so much. Oh, I'm so you. glad. It was really fun. It was so great to you to see your scene with Rebecca. You guys look so hot and that chemistry. Ooh. It was so sweet, wasn't it? I never made a look. I know. And Rebecca's like, oh, what a Whatever, and I'm like, yeah, because it's music. <laughs> <laughs> and how much did you much love longer to get to the kiss? Like, I remember, I didn't realize we just would jump for like, put your mouth on my mouth, like, right. right away. And then, <laughs> and then, Celia walks up. Oh, I love Lily Valentine's walking by and wanting to join you. Back. Oh, um, close out the other Zoom. We're gonna zoom, 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 zoom. We're gonna zoom, 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 zoom. I'm afraid to move, but I'm afraid to move. Remember? Box 350. Boss and Ness. Oh, two, one, three, four. All I used to think when I watched Zoom was like, why aren't they wearing shoes? I don't understand. Did they not wear shoes? Give these white kids some shoes, please. <laughs> We're always barefoot. That's a And guess, and they always, somebody always had a broken arm. 